stumbling over all the toffee branches and the crunching leaves, I gazed through the trees which were giants waiting for a human dwarf to crush. Before long I saw the glowing sun creeping through the mysterious cracks as it gradually blinded me. As I ventured deeper and deeper into the fantastic forest, I slowly started to hear different voice surroundings, a faint wolf howl, owls, tigers, and most of the amazing of them all, magic as they all yelled simultaneously to the dancing of the trees. Eventually, I discovered the stunning stream through the, br- through the bristles, which were like a million splinters di- digging into my skin. At first, I just got a glimpse of the sparkling clear water dripping off the rocks. However, once I pulled the bush to one side, I felt anxious to see what was on the other end. For some reason, I thought it was a cave or a mountain looking at it or looking at it another way. Even a box splash, straight drop splash. It was beautiful, elegant waterfall blazing in the sun. The wind, beca- the wind getting stronger, I started to smell the foisty damp wood coming from the branches. As the moss jumped higher and higher onto the back of them, Meanwhile, I could taste mystery as the ground became so- softer every footstep I took and squelcher every movement I made. Running in front of me, I saw a very rare red breast squirrel with hazelnut eyes and grey mi- miniscule feet. Suddenly, I squinted as, as, squinted as if to say, did I just see that? I was filled with a mixture of emotions, feeling curious and lost for words. Magic dying down and the owls getting ready to awake, the vast moon started to climb up the sky and on its way turning the world behind it sleepy and dark. Soon I declared it was time for a sleep, as I needed to go back to my beloved family. Despite going home tomorrow, I have a whole night ahead of me, but first I must find the boa belonging to the fairies that I saw on my previous adventures. Feeling the silk run through my fingers, I suddenly knew that that was the boa and instantly fell into a deep slumber. By Bethany Wilson, 6K.